If you're a regular viewer of HomeKit Authority, you've certainly heard the word HomeKit, but one word you've certainly not be familiar with is the word Thread. But that's all about to change now Apple has built Thread wireless capability into the new HomePod Mini. Now, let me be clear on something. This is not something that Apple has developed. Thread has actually been around since 2016, but Apple joined the development group back in 2018, and now they've built it into the HomePod Mini. Thread is certainly going to be the future of HomeKit. So continue to watch this video to understand what Thread is all about, how it works, some of the manufacturers that it supports right now, and also what this means for HomeKit. Hi, welcome back, and my name's John, and if you're new around this channel, then this is HomeKit Authority, which is dedicated to everything HomeKit, news reviews, and tutorials. So if you're not already a subscriber, it'd be greatly appreciated if you hit the subscribe button and also the bell button. Also, don't forget to check out our social media channels at Follow HomeKit. The links are in the description below, and we're constantly tweeting out information around new products, HomeKit developments, and everything else with the Apple Smart Home platform. Okay, so starting what Thread actually is. Thread is based on the universally developed internet protocol version six standard. But unlike standards like Zigbee, it creates a mesh network that automatically connects all other Thread devices together to create that mesh network. Thread does not require a central hub or, or gateways or anything like that in order to connect devices together. Thread network can self-heal, so if one accessory in your Thread network becomes unavailable, the data packets will select an alternative route automatically and continue to work. Thread network expands pretty much automatically as you add more accessories. As an example, if you have an Eve Aqua and it's beyond reach of your HomePod Mini, an Eve Energy or somewhere in the middle could connect the Eve Aqua to the Fred network. While Wi-Fi and Bluetooth networks become unreliable and unresponsive, the more devices you add. And an example of this, if you have got lots of people in your home for a family gathering, or you've got lots of devices connected, you sometimes will find that your Wi-Fi network becomes unresponsive and it starts to slow down. A thread network is totally different. The more thread devices that are connected, the more stable and robust that network becomes. Another benefit of thread it's got a low power consumption, just like Bluetooth, which will be great for battery operated devices such as motion sensors, door locks, and things that require battery operation. It will allow these devices to last a lot longer and be part of the Fred network. So how does it compare to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth? And let's have a look at that. So starting with Wi-Fi, which is useful if you're setting up a HomeKit home, you've probably got already got Wi-Fi in your home. But as I've already mentioned, the more people that are connected or the more devices are connected to Wi-Fi, in some instances, it becomes less stable and it starts to slow down which leads to devices getting the dreaded no response that you sometimes find that it's actually related to connectivity and not HomeKit itself. But with Fred, as I've already mentioned, the more devices you add, the more reliable and robust it becomes. So actually it's a benefit to add more Fred devices to improve that Fred network because it creates a mesh. Then we have Bluetooth, which is low powered, which is great for devices such as contact sensors, motion sensors, door locks, or anything that needs battery operation. It then just requires a very low power consumption, which means the batteries last a lot longer. However, it does need to be in range of a device. So if you're not using a HomeKit hub, then you need to be in range of your iOS device in order to use that Bluetooth device. And as people know, Bluetooth is pretty much limited on its range between 10 and 15 meters. Then if you've got a HomeKit hub, it needs to be in range of that. And then if it's not in range, the device can go offline. So when you really want to use it, it then is not available. There's also latency issues with Bluetooth. Sometimes it takes a couple of seconds for a device to respond when you click the tile and activate it. And that's not useful if it's something like a light and you want it to come on. So now you've heard about the benefits of Fred, how it works, what devices are available? Well, first of all, whilst you don't need a hub to connect thread devices together, you do need a HomeKit hub to authenticate those thread devices onto the network and enable the thread network to become part of HomeKit. Well, you're in luck because the HomePod Mini supports Thread and it's got it built right in. So if you've got a HomePod Mini in your network, then you can automatically connect Thread devices. Now, it's certainly going to be interesting in 2021 as we see more HomeKit devices such as the Apple TV and a possible future HomePod, the bigger HomePod, receiving 
thread upgrades through new hardware. And that's gonna be interesting to see what they do there. But right now it's pretty much limited in terms of manufacturers that support thread within HomeKit. First one in terms of manufacturers is the Nanoleaf. As announced, its new SmartLine platform dubbed the Nanoleaf Essentials, which support Thread. These devices not only support Thread and Bluetooth, but they're also very affordable. And during my initial testing, these have been great. The response times have been near instant when using the Nanoleaf bulbs and with Fred. And as you can see from these tests, the first one is connected on Bluetooth and you can see the delay between pressing the button to turn it on and the light actually turning on. But then when connected to Thread, the response is near instant. And this, in my opinion, is a great benefit and one of the real benefits, particularly for smart home devices. Then we have Heave, which is rolling out Thread support to many existing accessories, which is really good. They can, they've already got the foresight to include the Thread technology in these devices. This is because the latest generation chipsets in the latest devices will receive firmware updates. And we've already started to see firmware updates rolled out the EVE window and door sensor and also the EVE energy across Europe. Later on in 2021, we should see rollouts the EVE Aqua and also the EVE Fermo. Now EVE said they are working on future products when I spoke to them and they said that they are going to be developing their future products with Thread in mind. So it's great to see a HomeKit exclusive manufacturer developing devices that work on thread because this will really benefit those devices particularly because of the Bluetooth issues with latency. Now I just want to point out even though you do need a HomeKit hub such as the HomePod mini to authenticate thread devices into HomeKit the HomePod mini does not need to be the primary HomeKit hub. It can be in standby mode and the thread network will still work and still stay in place. This is also true if you've got more than one thread device. So for instance, if you've got the Eve Aqua and an Aleph Essential Bulb connected into your HomeKit hub, then if the HomePod mini does go offline for whatever reason, the thread network will still stay in place and it will still work with HomeKit. And this is really good that this works in this way because it's not hub dependent. It's simply needed to order to authenticate to the HomeKit network. So now we've talked about the benefits of Thread, the manufacturers, but what's it actually mean for HomeKit? Well, Thread does not require a hub as I've already mentioned, which means we should see more devices that need nothing else. That means no priority bridges, no gateways, and no starter kits needed with a hub in order to get a Thread device connected. This will be a tremendous benefit to HomeKit in the future. It will see manufacturers like Philips U developing products which have got Thread built in, which do not require the gateway, similar to they've done with Bluetooth, but they will be more responsive, exactly the same as the Nanoleaf Essential Bulbs do, which work really well within HomeKit when used with Thread. Now, I'm not saying that Bluetooth is not a good application for some products, but Thread being developed, it's going to be certainly going to change that. And it will mean we'll see more devices without the need for a hub. And eventually we'll get to the platform that we need without needing all the hubs in the home, as some people will find. A lot of people complain about the lack of HomeKit devices compared to, say, Google and Alexa. Now, the fact that this is part of the chip project and Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and also Thread is part of the wireless applications that they are going to be using. This will see manufacturers being able to deploy Thread to a device and being able to roll out this to multiple manufacturers. All they have to do is again go through the certification to get onto that platform, which will mean the route to market will be less expensive for them. And we should see more HomeKit devices hitting the market. Now, the other thing that people complain about is the stability within HomeKit. Now, it's not necessarily the HomeKit platform that's not stable. It's the technology and applications that you use within it. For instance, if you've not got a very good Wi-Fi network, then your devices that are added to your Wi-Fi network will be unstable and you'll get no response. Similarly, if you're using a lot of Bluetooth devices and they're not in range of the hub or it's struggling with the signal strength or the latency, again, you will have devices that don't respond as quick. With Thread, we will see more stability because of the way it works. The more devices you add, the more stable it becomes and the more robust it becomes. And then it will just work really well and we will see a more stable platform. These are just some of the benefits of Thread coming to HomeKit. I can't wait to see what 2021 brings for new HomeKit devices using Thread particularly for the stability and also the ability for manufacturers to deploy products to multiple markets, which will see those products come into HomeKit. So guys, hopefully you found this video useful. Hopefully you've got something out of it and you've understood a little bit more about Thread. 
what it means for HomeKit, some of the manufacturers that are available. If you have any questions or any comments, leave it in the comment section below. I will get back to you. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on our social media channels as we keep you up to date with everything in the world of HomeKit. Thank you very much. I'll speak to you soon.